This video will teach you how to use an epinephrine auto-injector, sometimes known as an EpiPen. You may have a severe allergy to bee stings, peanuts, shellfish, or certain medicines. If one of these gets into your body, you could have a violent allergic reaction. The signs of a reaction include sudden itching, hives, difficulty breathing, and even a sense that your throat is closing. An auto-injector gives a dose of medicine called epinephrine, and epinephrine can stop the attack. There are several brands of epinephrine auto-injectors. Although they may look different, all of them work in about the same way. This auto-injector comes in a clear plastic case that protects it from damage. It has a window on its side so you can check the medicine from time to time. The medicine should look clear. If it's ever discolored or cloudy, you should throw the injector away and ask your doctor or pharmacist for a new one. You also should keep track of the medicine's expiration date. Be sure to ask for a new auto-injector if yours will expire soon. If you need to use the auto-injector, uncap the case and slide the injector out. You'll see a tip that's usually orange or yellow. The needle will come out of this tip when you use the injector. To avoid accidentally sticking yourself with the needle, you should never touch the colored tip. Before you use the auto-injector, you must pull off the safety cap. In most cases, this cap is gray or blue. We'll be using a trainer for today's demonstration. It looks and acts like a real auto-injector, but it has no needle or medicine inside. You can use the trainer to practice on yourself. You can also let family, friends, and coworkers use it so they'll be able to help you if you need it. If you know you have a severe food or other allergy, you should always keep your auto-injector nearby. If you're having a reaction, get your auto-injector as quickly as you can. Slide the injector out of its tube, grip it in your fist, orange or yellow tip down, then pull off the blue safety cap. Swing and firmly push your arm down so that the orange or yellow tip makes firm contact with your outer thigh you'll hear a click as the medicine is injected. Hold the injector firmly against your thigh and slowly count to 10. This makes sure all the medicine has been injected. The injector works through clothes, so you can get the medicine into your body quickly. Now pull the injector away. You should start feeling relief right away. If you continued having symptoms, you would repeat the entire process using your second auto-injector. Epinephrine auto-injectors are always issued two at a time. This is so that a second dose is ready if you need it. Auto-injectors are meant to be thrown away right after use. You wouldn't want to mistake a used auto-injector for a new one. Put the used auto-injector in a sharps container. If you don't have a ready-made sharps container, you can make one using a jar or bottle made of stiff plastic with a screw-on cap. One example is a detergent bottle. Label it very clearly as dangerous. Anyone who sees it will know to leave it alone. You should keep the container in a safe place, out of reach of children and pets. After giving yourself epinephrine, keep a close eye on your symptoms and call 911 if you continue to have problems. When you do feel better, contact your doctor or pharmacist to get another auto-injector, so you'll always have one handy. An auto-injector can be stored almost anywhere that's room temperature. It shouldn't be kept in the refrigerator or in a particularly hot place like a car. And it should always be stored in its case to protect it from sunlight and any possible damage. Severe allergies can be life-threatening the good news is that there's a quick and easy way to treat them. Keep your epinephrine auto-injector nearby so you can keep yourself safe.